Professor Stephen Hawking once held a party inviting all time travelers to come. Of course, nobody came, but Professor Hawking himself didn't say that traveling through time is not possible. Today, we're going to talk about five real cases of time travel. I suggest you stick around until number one. If this doesn't convince you that time travel is possible and is already a reality, then nothing will. Number five. Eleanor Jourdain and Charlotte Ann Moberly. Our first case of time travel happened a long time ago, way before time travel became a mainstream idea of theoretical science. Back in 1911, recently introduced friends Eleanor Jourdain and Charlotte Ann Moberly published a book chronicling what they claimed to be, an instance of traveling through time. Quite predictably, the book was quite a sensation, as it was published during a time of great interest for the paranormal and spiritualism. The book called An Adventure recounted the events that happened to the women in 1901 while visiting the Palace of Versailles. The following is an account of their story. The two women were taking a short tour of the Palace of Versailles, whom both thought was quite boring. So they decided to visit the expansive gardens which surrounded Petite Trianon. With the help of their guidebook, they promptly walked toward the gardens. But instead of using the main roads, probably thinking that they would arrive at the gardens much quicker, they turned into a small alleyway. They didn't realize at the time that this small detour will change both of their lives forever. Right about this time, the two felt a feeling of dreariness and oppression. While walking, they started seeing things that were quite odd. On a window nearby, they saw a woman shaking a white cloth, an old abandoned farmhouse complete with an old rusty plow. As they continued walking, they approached a couple of men to ask for direction to the gardens. They observed the men looked like very dignified officials and were dressed in a fashion that looked like it came from the 18th century. Further down the alleyway, they spotted a woman and a girl standing in front of a cottage. Aside from being quite out of place, the two reported that the couple looked very weird, like they weren't real people, but rather like animated wax sculptures. According to the two, everything looked unnatural, flat and lifeless, not even a slight breeze to stir the leaves on the trees. The two continued to report seeing strange and unnatural things, finally even claiming to see Mary Antoinette herself. Did these women accidentally step into a time vortex and were temporarily thrust into the 18th century? Or are these just the ramblings of two women trying to cash in on the current fascination of the paranormal during that time? I'll leave you to make up your own mind, but I already know I have my own opinions here. Number 4. John Titor Probably the most famous and most talked about time traveler in this list is a man who goes by the name of John Titor. He first surfaced in 1998 when he sent a fax of his story to a radio host of a very popular science fiction show. After that first instance, he became silent for a while, until he resurfaced in 2000, posting messages onto message boards and various inline platforms. Many people were quickly to dismiss his claims to be just as ramblings of a lunatic. But given the paradoxes that surround time travel, is it fair to say that he was a complete loon? Here is his story, and I'll let you decide for yourself. It all started innocently enough, with John Titor joining online discussions about the possibilities of time travel and the development of a working time machine. What set him apart from the other commenters, though, was that he seemed to know what he was talking about, even theorizing about the six components that would make a time machine work. He later on explained that the reason why he knew all of these bits of information was because he was a time traveler from the future, the year 2036 to be exact. He then told his fantastic tale of traveling back to the 1970s to procure an IBM 5100, which scientists from the future needed to decode a computer program. He claimed that he stopped by the year 2000 partly due to personal reasons, and also because he wanted to give a warning. Some of his warnings were indeed foreboding. He warned of a second U.S. Civil War, which would end up dividing the United States into five autonomous regions. The U.S. Capitol will be moved to Omaha, Nebraska, because Washington, D.C. was targeted by an unnamed enemy and was completely destroyed. I would also like to note that all of these events were supposed to kick off in 2004 and end in 2015. He also warned of the spread of the Kruschfeld jacob disease, an often fatal disease that results into the rapid degeneration of the nervous system, which can be acquired by eating beef products. 
Of course, all of his predictions have since been disproven. But think about this. Could it be that the reason why these catastrophic events never came to pass was him traveling back to our time and warning us all? I mean, either way, I'm happy because that means I can just play Monster Hunter World another day, but <laughs> just think about that for a few minutes, people. Number 3. Andrew Basiago Tales of time travel are truly fascinating and almost unbelievable. In fact, they're always almost unbelievable. Oftentimes, stories like these can be easily dismissed as fiction of products of an overly active imagination. However, once in a while, a tale comes from a person that seems so legit one can't help but believe the stories. The next entry in the list is an example of such a tale. The person involved is so adamant that he is telling the truth, he bravely went public and even tried to run for president of the United States. This is a story of a man named Andrew Basiago. He claims to have been involved in a top-secret CIA program involved in time travel, Project Pegasus. According to Basiago, Project Pegasus ran from 1962 and 1972, and his main objective is to perfect time travel. If Basiago is to be believed, they have been successful in doing so. During the duration of the program, they were able to successfully, if Basiago was to be believed, get in contact with past presidents, teleport human beings to Mars, and even maintain constant communication with extraterrestrials. Basiago further claims that he had been selected to be a time traveler since he was a child, as only children gifted with strong psychic abilities are said to be the only ones capable of traveling through time. He was preceded by his father, who he says worked for the Ralph M. Parsons Engineering Corporation, the company that allegedly developed time travel technology. His first quote-unquote jump, according to him, was a teleportation test, which teleported him to the state capital of New Mexico and back. Soon afterwards, however, he would proceed to be doing full-fledged time jumps. He says he traveled back in time to witness Abraham Lincoln's Gettysburg Address, give George Washington military advice during the Civil War, Wait, 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 George Washington, the Civil War? Um, one of these things just doesn't belong here. He also confirmed the existence of Jesus. He also says that he has traveled to the future to the year 2045 and was transported into a building made of tungsten, steel, and emeralds. Basiago has made a lot of fantastic claims and even being unable to take the presidency hasn't silenced him. Do his claims have any shred of truth in them or are they just a product of an overactive imagination? Eh, what do you think? We have heard three fantastic time travel stories so far, but now it's time for today's best pick. As always, this image was sent to us by an avid subscriber. So, if you want to contribute to one of our videos or just want to find out more about a photo that you came across online, feel free to send it over and we'll do all the research for you and include it in an upcoming video. Number 2. Vladimir Putin Today's photo shows three people from different periods of time, sharing what seems to be the same face. At least the rational among us would immediately come to the conclusion that they are different people. But to conspiracy theory buffs out there, the uncanny resemblance of these three people can only mean one thing, that they're in fact one and the same person. We are not talking about any ordinary person here, however. We are pertaining to one of the most powerful and influential people of our time, the current Russian leader, Vladimir Putin. From the time this photo was released, quite a number of theories have been thrown about. Here are just but a few of them. Some people believe that Putin is actually immortal and has lived many different lives. Aside from being a soldier in two different time periods and being a president in the current timeline, it has been suggested that dear old Vladi was born in 1431 and was in fact the infamous leader of Transylvania. Or, you know, Vlad the Impaler, or better known as Count Dracula. Bleh. This theory further claims that when he grew tired of being the Impaler, he cross-dressed himself and lived the life of a woman, and is even said to be the one who posed for Leonardo da Vinci's Mona Lisa. Well, aside from being immortal, quite a few have also theorized that good old Vladi is a time traveler and simply traveled back in time to pose for a few photos, or in the case of the Mona Lisa, for a painting. Whether or not these claims are true or completely unfounded, the fact that Putin delves into time traveling aside from riding horses while shirtless is a fascinating thing to think about, if not terrifying. I saved the best for last, but first, I have a quick challenge that takes only five seconds to complete. If you can leave a like and subscribe, within the next five seconds you'll get 10 years of amazing luck just try it it really works number one chaplain's time traveler telling stories about traveling through time is one thing it can be easily disregarded as made up or not true but what if you were presented with visual evidence of a time traveler 
No, not some shaky cell phone camera footage taken by an amateur filmmaker, but a footage of a classic film allegedly showing undeniable proof of time travel. Well, back in 2001, Irish filmmaker George Clark uploaded a short video clip that took the entire internet by storm. It was a short film clip taken from the 1928 Charlie Chaplin silent film The Circus. At first, the clip seemed unremarkable and looked like any other old footage from the time period. But when analyzed closely, you will spot something that is both shocking and puzzling at the same time. For a few seconds, a woman could be seen walking by, clearly an extra, but what she was doing on the scene is what people found baffling. She appeared to be holding something to her ear while talking. Something that looked suspiciously like a common, modern-day device. A cell phone. Of course, skeptics have already put down numerous explanations of what the device could be. The most popular theory was that the woman was holding some form of early hearing aid, which was a dice, which really did exist at that time. Others say otherwise. If the woman was using a hearing aid, why would she use it while walking? She was walking alone and no one was talking to her, eliminating the need for her to hear clearly. Also, the woman's lips were moving, a clear sign that she was indeed talking to somebody during that time. Was this woman actually a paid extra on the film, or was she a lost time traveler who accidentally stumbled onto a set while people were filming? I'll leave you to decide on your answer by yourself. Which time travel story seems more plausible to you? Let us know in the comments section below! Want more fascinating videos that make you question what is real and what is not? Then click on one of the videos on the screen. As always, thank you all for watching. See you later!